new crash tests are raising concern for millions of people who drive small SUVs. More than a dozen new vehicles were recently put to the test and several of them got failing grades. Here's ABC's Andrew Dembert. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety is out with results from new frontal crash tests that for the first time looked at how dummies in the back seat fared and the news isn't good. For years, we have focused on the driver and the front seat passenger. Front seat occupants are now benefiting from technologies such as airbags and advanced seatbelt systems. The same level of technology often does not exist in the rear seat to protect those occupants. So we want to focus on that rear seat where you carry often the most vulnerable occupants, such as children and elderly adults. 15 small SUVs were tested for how well they hold up structurally in a crash and the likelihood of injury in the back seat. Only the Ford Escape and Volvo XC40 received a good rating. The Toyota RAV4 was rated acceptable, while Audi's Q3, the Nissan Rogue, and the Subaru Forester were rated marginal. All the others, including models from Buick, Chevy, Honda, Hyundai, Jeep, Mazda, and Mitsubishi, received the lowest rating of poor. As these results show, rear seat safety is lagging. It's time for us to focus on making the vehicle safe for all occupants. The Institute found the risk of fatal injury is 46% higher for backseat passengers than for drivers in the front. Experts are now urging car makers to bring all that sophisticated technology available in the front back into the rear seat. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York.